Kelvin Hepner with Real Agriculture. We're at Manitoba Ag Days here in Brandon and joined by Braden Pierce of GrainViz. And Braden, can you fill us in on this technology? We can see on the screen behind you there's an image of a, of a bin. Yeah. Grain bin, how do, what's this technology? How does it work? Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'd love to fill you in on that. So we create three-dimensional moisture maps of the, of the contents of a grain bin. Uh, it's a very new technology uh, that we're just introducing into the market as of this last fall. And uh, so we've got a series of antennas that are mounted on the inside wall of the grain bin. And by transmitting and receiving on this series of antennas, we're able to uh, generate a very comprehensive 3D model. You can think of it a little bit like a CT scan or, a, or an MRI, getting a very complete understanding of what's inside the bin from a moisture and, uh, and packing factor perspective. Um, so uh, the, the value of the system really is in pre-detecting uh, or seeing the preconditions to spoilage, number one, and then targeting a certain moisture content in the drying process. Um, so, you know, you don't want to over dry your commodity. It's the highest value it'll ever be, uh, you know, when it goes, comes off the field and goes into the bin. And the last thing you want to do is, is devalue your commodity. So we can, we can really control that process. We've got a, a series of relays that we use to control the fans at a weather station uh, on site as well with a cell modem. And uh, so we see the conditions outside and we can control that fan drying process to optimize the quality of the grain. And because we see the, the packing factor and, um, and the moisture content of the grain and we know the commodity going into the bin, we got a really good idea of the total weight, uh, con the weight of the contents of the bin. So you, know, you harvest by volume or per bushel, but you sell by weight. So it helps you understand whether you're going to make good on a contract or exactly what you think the dollar value is inside the bin. Okay, so this is sort of a high precision application of monitoring what's happening in your bin. Exactly, yeah. I mean, so, so there are other technologies out there for monitoring grain quality in bins. Uh, the conventional cable monitoring systems that hang, uh, you know, temperature and moisture probes inside of a bin. Uh, but we're differentiated from that in that we can really see the complete contents of the bin. Uh, so it really is a precision tool for controlling and optimizing your grain quality. So how uh, how accurate or how small a resolution can yeah, can good. you can you look at? It's a good question. So this, for example, is a 23,000 bushel bin of wheat, and uh, resolution would be around the size of a fist. And uh, as the bin diameter grows, the resolution grows a little bit with it. Uh, our hardware doesn't change though, so all of our setup is the same in any bin, whether it's 300,000 bushels or 5,000 bushels. Finally then, what about getting the, the data from, from the sensors in the bin? How do, you, how do you view that image? Yeah, that's a great, uh, great question. So we have a weather station on site that has a cell modem in it, and we have that Wi-Fi connected to any bins on site that have the, uh, have the bin monitoring technology on them. So we collect the data directly through a local network and then we send it up through the cell network and we process the images online. The, pr the producer of course still owns the data but uh, we host it for them and uh, display it and, and our online platform you can basically choose what moisture content you want to look at in the bin if you feel like looking at it and uh, you'll see any kind of alerts that we've placed beside bins and you can slice and dice uh, the bin model any way you want. Look at it in great detail if you like. Okay. I do have a couple more questions that came to mind as you're, as you're talking there. What, what's the story behind how this technology was developed or, or how, this, how this came to be? Yeah, it's, uh, it was originally developed as a medical imaging technology, a uh, different modality than CT or MRI for doing breast cancer detection. And it was uh, Dr. Joe Lovetri from the Electromagnetic Imaging Lab at U of M who originally, uh, who spearheaded this for many years. He spent it's his life's work to develop this technology and he's developed it in conjunction with Dr. Ian Jeffrey, Dr. Colin Gilmore, and then the rest of our team has stepped around them to uh, develop it commercially. And uh, so an ag professor, Dr. Jatendra Polywal, stuck his arm into an imaging chamber when they were testing this uh, and to do a forearm uh, image. And he said, hey, well, if I can image my forearm, why can't I image a bin? or image the contents of a grain bin. And so that started the process of, uh, oh, cool. of trialing it in grain. So where do you see it being applied or adopted, first of all, in the market? I think it has, uh, it's pretty versatile in the market. I think it's maybe even complementary to the other cable monitoring systems. So, uh, but if you need more resolution uh, in, into your bin, you know, if you have a really high value commodity, whether you're a producer 
or a, or a handler or a merchandiser, you may want to know more about what's in the bin to be able to control that value. So, um, and it doesn't matter what the bin size is. So it's it's sort of up to the producer as to whether he would like that system or not. It's very much comes down to a per bushel cost evaluation. Okay, cool. Very interesting. Thanks for your time, yeah. Braden. Thank you.